First off, this isn't my Skyrim gameplay. I'll link the gameplay in the description. I just wanted to emphasize that there are better magic games out there. As far as Hogwarts Legacy goes, I honestly thought this wouldn't be an issue for me since there's only two reasons that people play this game, let's be real. One, because they have nostalgia for Harry Potter, and two, because it's a guaranteed way to troll and piss off trans people and liberals. I did not get into this channel to talk about politics. I got into this channel to talk about drugs. I do not give a fuck. I don't even have any interest in getting into the fact that I think human rights are different from politics politics either because I'm not in a position to help struggling people survive right now anyway. It's a waste of my time and energy. Enough rambling though. The reason I made this fucking video is because I had someone on my stream offer to buy me a new PC if I streamed the game. Now I don't even know if this offer is still on the table, but it got me thinking. I'm a serious multitasker. I could use a better PC for work. I was already limited in the games I could stream because of my five year old PC and it caused me a lot of burnout. I play way too much Minecraft, let's be real. Now am I even interested in Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter? No, but to be fair, I grew up a Jehovah's Witness, and because of that, Harry Potter was off the table for me growing up, so I can't really put myself in the position of someone that has legitimate nostalgia for Harry Potter and feels like they're socially forced away from playing the game because of politics. But yeah, let's be real, if I ever play this game, I'm going to pirate the fuck out of it if I can, or have someone else buy it. There's always going to be people I'm not willing to give more money to. But at this point, the good that I can do with the new PC, maybe even for trans people, outweighs the impact of me playing this game. So would I play it? Yeah. Virtue signaling is kind of exhausting, especially when I can't actually do anything about it. I'm not going to unmurder trans people by not playing a fucking video game. Stuff is a lot more complicated than that, and I understand a lot of people really need to simplify things and pretend that not supporting a video game means 100% that a person is an ally to trans people, but guys, it's just not that fucking simple. But yeah, I'm an introvert. Thankfully, I can handle losing friends over this. And the show goes on. 